Hey everybody, Adam Savage in London at Prop Store with Tim Laws. Tim, we have an amazing piece from the fall auction here in front of us. This is, uh, I think it's one of my favorite pieces in the whole sale, I've got to be honest. Pretty, really? It's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's just the, you're a practical guy. It's just a level of engineering that's gone into this. I mean. Well, and really specifically, we did extensive coverage of the T1 endo arm that was in the June auction in right. the States. And here we have, a T2 endo arm, and it's very much built the same way. It's cast aluminum. Uh, oh, it's got a little, it's like, a, oh, there we go. This is, this is, I'm, it's about like seven or eight kilos here. It's pretty heavy. Uh, it is cast aluminum and steel, and is this a? This is one of the practical filming models. Yeah, I mean, this has got cable controls in. As you can see, it's all wired to actually to pull down and roll those fingers around. Oh my gosh! Probably needs a little bit of yeah. TLC, but it's all there. You can see all the mech is there. I, I this so this is one of your favorite pieces. It, it is. I mean, T uh, two is, is that was that film that I came out of the movie theater thinking. How did they do that? Right. You know, right. It was just well, there's a few films like that, but that was the big one for me. It was just the the physical and computer effects that went into that just blew me away. And that that classic shot where he tears his forearm off. Yeah. I mean, and so that's going to be a similar rig to this because it, it it's going to be constructed the same way. I was noticing this, that, and let's be clear that the mechanical. Uh, construction of the T1 and T2 endo arms is different. Yeah, I always the the first thing for me is the fingertips. That's the, like the obvious tell. Yeah. Uh, but then, as you say, there are numerous differences as you go into it. Yeah. The 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 each of the metacarpals has a different shape and a different layout. Uh, down here, it's very similar between the two films. Um, I also this is a real theme with the items you guys are auctioning off this fall, in that the props are like. They feel like the real thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can. This feels like the yeah, arm of a real robot. It, it definitely does. It's certainly got the weight for it, and you can just imagine this thing sort of chasing you down the road now. Now, was where did you guys find this one? Do you know? Yeah, this one it was. Uh, it originated in the states for sure, but it's coming out of a collection in the UK. Uh, it's been there for a long time, and I've kind of uh, looked at it for a great period of time. So oh. actually, it's just like you, the level of detail that's gone into it. You just sit there, and it's a very, very uh, tactile thing. Yeah. I mean, uh, right here, the, the centerpiece of uh, 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 both the T1 and T2 endo arm is this sort of uh, forked platform that the bottom of the palm is constructed out of. But this and one's a lot nicer finish though, isn't it, compared to the T1? really yeah. nice. Yeah, it's very, they've gone to a high degree of fit and finish on this. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, you've got this ball socket joint. It, really, this is one of those ones where no matter how close you look at it, it holds up and tells the story. It really does. Um, in particular, look, I finished the June auction wanting to make myself a T1 endo arm. And what's hilarious is I wanted to build exactly this, which is a loose one with cables, but it felt like I yanked it off a robot. <laughs> and this totally feels like it was yanked off of a robot. Oh, I feel it's like a thumb. I'm... Yeah. Oh, man. Look at this. It's something, isn't it? It really is. Did you. I mean, you must be... You, it, well, if you are going to build one of these, I'd like to know how long you think it's going to take. It's going to take a while. I don't think I'm going to end up doing uh, any of the actual casting aluminum. But I don't know. I may end up. Oh, good luck. <laughs> there, is a, there is a shop in, in, in Northern California that calls itself Poor Man's Bronze that they'll cast anything in aluminum. I'm like, anything? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll bring you something. You got a project for them. Do you, you must pinch yourself all the time in your job about getting to, like see and handle pieces oh, that it. you grew up with. And you, the beauty is you never know what's going to come in each day either. Really? Yeah, every day is different. And you never know what's going to come through the door. Oh, man. Look I at that. Be so Amazing. gentle with this. It is like a, like a, I mean, it is. It's a precious, precious artifact. Um, thank you so much for letting me, <laughs> lending me a hand. I was trying <laughs> to think of good hand puns. There you go. Tim, what an insane piece.